wadomo doha ne modeni gbini du tai dete kaka bombla mai ho uh, i hope the 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 story of the song for some of us uh, on, all right we're about to start why are why are bota why are domo why are lamogun we're about to start uh, i was reading something today uh, In, I was reading something today. The title of our topic is straightforward. We're going to be talking about okay. We're going to be talking about there was a topic that was raised on the GBD platform about a few days ago about the hierarchical classification of uh, in other words let's put it lay barely a no give the high bar who is senior um i tried to persuade some of our people but they were not forthcoming but in your plan you need to uh Oh God, help me to get uh, what I'm looking for. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. Um, it was an account that was given by um, the the king of Ijebu. All right. It was an account that was given by king of of Ijebu, where he stated. Uh, oh God, help me look for this. I need to get this. Um, just a minute. Okay, okay, okay. Like uh, before we go to the topic of today, I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to read something, but I'm still looking for the full details. Maybe in our next class, uh, someone should remind me in our next class so that I shall I, I should bring the full details. But I, I, let me just read a point to all of us because uh, we are, we are digging into more research. Research re, a lot of research are coming up. As regards the Shakiri people, as it regards the Shakiri people, um, uh, in recent times they have been frolicking with the Eurobars. Now, I want to I want to state an account of one of the kings of Ijeboide, or one of the kings of Ijeboide. All right, um, the account that he gave. 
I want to. This is one of the foremost book that was uh, written by Eha um, um, Gosa. All right, this book was written by Eha Gosa. This work was published in 1995. The title of the book is Benin City: The Edo State Capital. Um, page 36 of it. Page 36 of it. Uh, Benin. The Shekiri, the jaw, and the sea. All right. He he gave series of accounts of the relationship between Benins and all the neighbors. All right. But this this particular um, chapter was dedicated to Shekiri, jaw, and the sea. All right. So I wanted us to listen very carefully. I'll read it twice. I wanted us to listen very carefully to this account that was given to one of the kings. Of um, for one of the kings of Ijebu, where it is believed that um, uh, some stock of Ishekiri people migrated from. Look at what was written. Early in this paper, uh, uh, that's the part I'm going to look for that I said, and probably if I can't get it today, I'll get it in our subsequent class. All right. Um, early in this paper, it was mentioned that a large stock of the people that ultimately coalesced to form the Shekiri race came from the Jebu Waterside district of Ode. This group of Shekiri still refer to themselves as the children of Lenuwa. Lenuwa is spelled as L-E-N-U-W-A. All right, I'm going to read it again. Early in this paper, it was mentioned that the last talk of the people that ultimately coalesced to form the Shekiri race came from the Jebu water site. Is my network okay? Um, bro, the live, the live video, they skip. Is the network not good? <laughs> All right, someone confirm if the network is good or not. Please confirm if the network is okay. If it's transmitting very good. I need confirmation, please. So proceed because this is a very exciting episode. Your internet is not stable. Okay. Are you sure it's okay? Okay, it's okay now. I wanted to change. I wanted to change. Okay, I wanted to change the network. All right, okay, okay, that's good. Okay, like I was saying, there was an account that was given. Um, okay, if it's not okay, you just inform me. If just inform me, then so I can change. Okay, all right, thank you. So we can proceed now. We can proceed now. All right, there was. I was saying something that there was an account. There's a book. That was written by Eha Gosa Aishin that was published in the year 1995. And um, in one of the chapters, he said, um, Benin, the Shekiri, the jaw, and the sea. Now, particularly, he was talking about the Shekiri. All right? Now, look at what he wrote. He said, Early in this paper, it was mentioned that a large talk of the people that ultimately coalesced to form the Shekiri race came from the Jebu. Waterside district of Ode. All right, this group of Ishekiri still refer to themselves as the children of Lenuwa. All right, I, I, I will repeat. I will repeat. You said early in this paper, it was mentioned that the last talk of the people that ultimately coalesced to form the Ishekiri race came from the Jebu Waterside district of Ode. 
This group of Ishekiri still refer to themselves as the children of Lenuwa, which is the title of the ruler of Ode. This ruler has volunteered the information that Ode people themselves came from Benin. It is reasonable to conjecture, therefore, that a proportion of the Shekiri people were originally a dose. Who, final, who finally arrived in the Shekiri land circuitously psych, psych, through Yoruba land. Now, we are going to open another aspect of history. We are doing our digging, we are doing our findings. Now, I will not have to explain what that statement means. It is a common knowledge that we know that the nobles and the royal house of the Shekiri people are of Benin stock. All right, uh, okay, let's see whether it goes this way. I've changed network. Why is the network messing up? Why is the network messing up? I've changed network now. Confirm. I've changed network to MTN. All right. Can I get confirmation if it's better? Pop. 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 Can I get a confirmation if it's better? The messages are no longer popping up. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, but I've changed network, uh, but messages are no longer popping up. So I think the network that I've changed to is better. And um, uh, take notes, I can no longer read, the messages are no longer popping up. So I won't be able to, let me say hi. I won't be able to read, I won't be able to read um, the messages that are popping up. So if I'm unable to, so I won't be able to reply, uh, but that one is bad. I don't know, is it, I presume the network is good now. Uh, I can't read messages anymore. Well, I'll just, I'll just continue. I, can I continue? Pop, can you say, um, can you give some likes? P.O.B. P.O.B. For me to know that the network is good. Alright? Because um, you're the one who have noticed more. Pop. That's pop, pop. P.O.B. <laughs> so, messages. I can no longer read messages. It's not forthcoming. So, I won't be able to. So, I'm waiting for pop to give like. So, I can continue. Alright. So, I presume it's working. And that's why. I'm getting a lot of multiple likes. Okay, I'll just continue. Now, I'm going to read. Okay, 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 that means it's good. All right, I'll continue without messages. So, I apologize in case you wanted to ask questions. I couldn't reply. Just know that I'm not getting your messages. It's no longer popping up. Um, but I know people are commenting. So, I'm going to read it again so that I explain. Now, the account that was written by Dr. Aishenika Gosa as regards the Shekiri people, tier four states, and I read. Early in this paper, it was mentioned that the large stock of the people that ultimately coalesced to form the Shekiri race came from the Jebu water site, district of Ode. Ode. This group of Shekiri still refer to themselves as the children of Lenuwa, which is the title of the ruler of Ode. This ruler has volunteered the information that Ode people themselves came from Benin. It is reasonable to conjecture, therefore, that the proportion of the Shekiri people were originally a those who finally arrived in the Shekiri land psychotosly through 
Yoruba land. Now, listen. What what he? I'm going to explain. I'm going to break it down. Before now, we know. We have always said before now that the Genoa and his entourage are of Benin origin. All right, and the Okere people who, who eventually went later. That Genoa went to meet met some aboriginals. All right, met some aboriginals that are Yorubas. That has always been the norm. That has always been the the information that we have that the people that Genoa met are of Yoruba ancestry. They are Yoruba people. Now, what is Eha goes? I'm going to look for the work and probably I'm going to pay it. It's a more there's an elaborate work in the book before the page, the SF that I read. What that SF stated that the king of Ode, where majority of the Aboriginal Ishekiri came from originated from the Yoruba land had confided in him all right had confided in a work that was written we have evidence we're going to prove it that they themselves came from Benin and a section of them that left Ode are now being referred as the Aboriginal of Ishekiri people that the Genoa and the nobles, the sons of the nobles, the Ojoes, went to meet. I don't know whether we understand the point I'm trying to raise. Now, the aboriginals that Genoa met is believed to come from Yoruba land. So that means the Benin people of the Roya and the noble stock came to meet a Yoruba set of people in the present day worry areas okay now there is an account that was stated that there is a there is there are groups of ishakiris that refer to themselves as the lenua's children and one of the and lenua is the title of the king of ode all right a, a part a section of ijebu ijebu ode which you call ijebu ode the name of their king is called lenua in one of the interview that the Lenoir granted in the 50s, he had told some writers that the, the people that left Lenoir, that they themselves, the old day people, are of Benin ancestry. In other words, it is Benin people that left Benin land, that went to Ejeboide, it's like a cycle. That is why he used the word psychotrously. It's like a cycle. They left Benin to Ijebu Ode and, and turned circular to the present day Ishekiri land. It was the same aborigines that the Benin eventually presided over. So, in other words, with more further researches, you will discover that 95% of the entire Ishekiri tribes of Benin ancestry. The so-called aboriginals are of Benin ancestry. And the nobles, the Genoas and his entourage are also of Benin ancestry. It's a topic that I would like us to talk about in probably in our next class. But let's leave it that way. There is a Now, let's discuss Today's topic. Today's topic is is a very interesting topic that uh, I would like us to deliberate on categorically to express um, sorry, I think I shouted so it's affecting my throat. <laughs> The hierarchical classification of the Nige, that is the Dukes, and the hierarchical differences of the Enige and the Ehime. A young man asked a very sensitive question a few days ago. 
where fault is said, Abe Nigi, Be Hamoba, who is more powerful? Who is more powerful? Who is more powerful? That was a question he asked. A brilliant, beautiful question. A beautiful, brilliant question. I gave an answer. And the answer that I gave, because I know it's tips, the answer is not straightforward. It is complicated. It's complex. It's not something you can say, the niggas are more powerful than the chiefs, the hymen, or the hymen is more powerful than the niggas. It's not a straightforward answer. And if anybody is expecting a straightforward answer today, you're not going to get a straightforward answer. What I had said is that none of them is more powerful than the other. In real sense, none of them. In real sense. But some people wanted to cash cruise by saying that the niggas are more powerful than the chiefs. Then, people like us, who have dug deep into some very essentials of Benin history, understand that that is not true. The answer to that question is straightforward and complicated. Odevano, some chiefs are powerful than every enige. Some chiefs are more powerful than every enige. Some chiefs, not all chiefs. So in other words, some chiefs are powerful than every enige. And every enige are powerful than most chiefs. I'm, I'm trying to put it in a way that we will understand. On my way, I'm a show. No matter say I be nigi. On my way, I'm a show. No matter say I be nigi. Then I be nigi. Matter say I have a nibun. But on my way, I'm a show. There are some chiefs of Benin Kingdom that are god them powerful. Is all the water. And I'm going to give you an example. This is not, I don't, I don't speak in rhetorics. When I, when I say anything, I'll tell you that. Yate bena, yate bena. This is where you're going to get it. This is where you're going to get it. Then I will tell you that on my sunu there, that any enoge had the power that this chief had. And I'm going to prove it. I'm going to give a series of examples. Yeah, wa, yeah, kill it. Yeah, kill it. Yeah, kill it. I will kill examples. There are some chiefs. Is all the way saying it now that are powerful than any enoge. There are some chiefs. Now, in order for us to understand the topic, in order for us to understand the topic, we must first of all understand the origin. Why? Where enigis created, why were the chiefs created? Understanding the function. Sorry for the call came through. Understanding the functions and the origin of these two orders of administration. Of Benin Kingdom, we give a clear imprint of the power that they wear. It. A young man, what is his name? One of those in Shakiri social media influencer had wanted to prevail on the matter by saying that the niggas. That I can I, I can I that I me me that I thought uh, me that always believe that I know everything about Benin history. Then why can I come out up publicly to say that uh, that the niggas 
the the chiefs are more powerful than royalty that uh, than princes because most of the Enigas are princes. They are Oba's children. How can I say that? Ordinarily, it makes sense to a lot of people who do not understand how Benin Kingdom was built. But when you understand how Benin Kingdom was built, you understand that Benin Kingdom was built in two dimensions. The Benin Kingdom was built around the king and his people. The king and the people. Understand these things. This, this is when you understand the secrets, you understand the miseries of Abe Menaya Boedoe. Bini Kingdom was built around the king and the people. The Bini Kingdom was not built around the king and his family members. That's what you should. That's the first. That's the first lesson in all of this. Why? Why did a barrel with paper? The first thing we are you talk. The kingdom, Benin Kino, is built around the king and the people, and not the king and the royal family. No. No, that is why, as Benin Kingdom is concerned now, it is Obaiwai and his children that matters. Not Obaiwai the Awa's children anymore. Not Obai Akenzwa's. Uh, uh, Akenzra's children anymore, not Obaiweka's children anymore, not Obaiwara's children anymore. The moment Otogariorui, the, the next king, on your say, it is the it is the reigning monarch and his immediate family that that matters in the affairs of Benin Kingdom. Every other, every other extended royal family is no longer has a say in the running affair of Benin Kingdom. It is the reigning monarch and the people, and the people are represented by a hymen. Understand these things. Or like in Shekiri, he was trying to bring the Shekiri where fought the... Oh, if the king passes on, they now have a regent. Olori will be also. Where fought that one can suspend a chief. No body from the royal family. I repeat, no body from the royal family can suspend any chief in Benin Kingdom. Nobody, because the kingdom is built around the, the king and the people, and not around the king and his and his family members, or like most of these kingdoms. So that's lesson number one. That is the first thing we must understand. It is the people, it is the will of the people. I haven't understood that. Let's now go to the topic in general. Why we are dukes created? For one reason. The reasons are not special. And so I don't want to denigrate Enige. But the reason the Enigas were created, it's not for was not for a special purpose. Now, in the old times, there were rivalries amongst princes. Ahari Yoba. There were always rivalry. It is either the first and the second is always fighting, or the first and the third always fighting. So, our Bani Kao devised a means of ensuring that as soon as the firstborn becomes the Oba, then his immediate younger ones, or possibly some of the ones that would have raised an eyebrow or make it ungovernable, all right, for the Oba, they will not send them to Asket of the Benin Kingdom to give them a duke. Oje na agi besinya yebere, agi besinya yebere, for them not to create enmity or to not to create an internal rivalry. So a means was devised that when one of the princes becomes the Oba, other of his siblings. Most especially those ones that has a potential of contesting for the throne were sent to towns or villages to become a duke so as not to create anomaly, not to create problems. <laughs> it was it's like a surplus to requirements, that kind of a thing. I'm not <laughs> I'm, 
I'm not trying to I'm not trying I'm not trying to denigrate any nigga, but I'm just trying to say that's how they were created. That's the functionality. That's the reason they were created. The reason was because to ensure that there are less rivalry within the internal administrative uh, system of the kingdom. We are all bass sits on the echelon of it, presides over it. All right, so they were sent out from the center so that do you understand that was the that was the brain behind the creation of the dukedom system let me give an example so that people can get it like do you know what the benichis protested this is the power that i'm talking about why i feel that the chiefs some chiefs are let me not use the word fucking are excessively more powerful not smaller some chiefs are excessively more powerful than any nigga for example the case of Jinua. Jinua gave a bad counsel to his father and look at what the chiefs told obalua that over their dead body would they allow Jinua become oba in benin you see how powerful they are some chiefs were so powerful that they can determine who becomes the other and i'm going to give you examples i'm not even talking about uzama anyway <laughs> those are those are big men <laughs> those are big men i'm not talking about uzamas now i'm talking about some chiefs i've in our last class i said the uzamans are not obas chiefs i'm talking about obas chiefs now some of them are fucking powerful that at one point in time in history example is genoa it was the a high one time of baby or corner your baby do it would be a wicked oba. So his father knew that truly they would not allow him to become the oba. He now sent him out to become a duke. And now that one I shall people won't kill me for because I called Jinua that what Jinua created was a duke dom, just like every Enoge, what they have. Only that at the time of creation it was a duke dom. Now English, but it grew from duke dom. To become a kingdom, Benin was once without a kingdom. They were ruled on separate bases, a quarterly rulership. Until they came together and had a kingdom, so you have to grow from from a stage to another stage to a stage. You cannot just grow; you cannot start from a kingdom. You have to grow. So, Genoa started as a dukedom. So over time, it grew to become a kingdom. So only I wish I young they are doing me on top of my head. So because I said um Uluwa do ali lave nigi eduiko, you understand? But well, well, that was a retaliation to what one of their useless uh, person has said against our history. So I retaliated. So having said that, so these were the concepts of the creation. That was the reason these enigies were created. And don't forget, not all enigie are all bad children. Not all of them were princes. Some where had a remarkable feat they had done some remarkable feats and because of that they naturally became the leader of their terrain and when the duke don ship system was introduced to benin by one of the orbas he naturally made those people that were already natural leaders of these environment to remain and made them enigi so there are two types of enigi the ones of the princes and the ones that are not prince but i have your baboon several all right but the the major local government you get in niggas where they have not they are not princes is orion because you know one time orion was very had caught himself off from benin kingdom for close to 300 years everybody knows that story the Ugi, ugu kingdom orion was not part of benin kingdom for close to 300 years and every everybody knows that story. If you don't know that story, one of these days I'll tell us that story. The creation of Prince Elegbe, how he created another kingdom called Ugu Kingdom that lasted for about three hundred years. Mm. Mm. Before Obayen Buddha went to conquer them and reconnect them back to Benin. So uh, that, by the way, now why were the chiefs created? The chiefs were created to help the Oba of Benin preside over the kingdom to help 
Now look at it to help the Oba of Benin preside over Benin Kingdom. Why were the Enigas created? The Enigas were created to reduce rancor within the central administrative system of the kingdom. So they were more like surplus to requirement. They were created because they were creating problems. The original function why they were created is what I'm telling you. It's no longer now where there are no rivalries at. It's a straightforward process of um, exclusively primogenation. At the time where Aya Ahonyo, for example, it, there were so many Adolo Ogbe Wekon Hon, eh? uh, even Ovorame, and Ovorame had a younger brother that rivaled him. Um, uh, 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 Iyozo Loewa, uh, Esige Warwan, uh, I say we know, or Seme Dewe Ogbebo, I say we know, Uwaifi Okun Ogun, I say we know, Ozuei Vakenzwa the first. They were rivalries. Even when Wedo had an elder brother, all right, the, the first Enogi of Idogbo was the elder brother of Obaya Wedo. Only that when he left, Eduna Tebe or Wu Yokoni, Amaya Oma Wu, so Tueni Esimi, Anando Ma Aba Prince Efabo, he now became Obaya Wedo. After some time, he now returned, and by that time, his younger brother has already been made the upper of Benin, so the, the, I think that's when the dukedom ship started. I think it was Obaya Wedo that created it and said that, Sorry, or Temen Odion, that I had to eat the Oba because we had fed your die. So he now became the first Enogi of Idogbo. That's, how the, that's the history. The Enogi of Idogbo. The first Enogi of Idogbo was the other brother of Oba Weather. So the concept, we look at the creation, how were they created? They were created for different purposes. But one was created to constitute, to be a head of a particular section of the kingdom. Then one, some were one was also created to follow to assist the other for to to take in charge of the entire kingdom including the dukedom including the dukedom so the only point some of them were raising is that the the enige has power to has power to has power to to create chiefs they only have power to create three chiefs three not more than three that's one they only say they have palaces that's two aside that is there any other special function that they think now all the chiefs of a nigi are not are all below the other chiefs obviously that one is a common sense, isn't it? That one is a common sense. All the chiefs of Enigia are below all the other chiefs. That one is a common sense. Now, we have divorced that. Let's now go to another, another fact. Now, there are four chiefs. They are called the four cardinal chiefs of Benin. The four cardinal chiefs of Benin. Iyase, number one. Esogba, number two. Eson, number three. Osuma, number four. This is their hierarchical classification. Number one is Iyase. Number two, Esogba. Number three. A song number four Osuma. A song is different from a son area. A son as a title, as a chief, is different from a son area. So get it very clearly. A son area is the Oba's first wife. Then a song is there's a chief, is the third in hierarchy of a guy who know he, a guy who know he, a guy who know he. All right, now understand this. Each of these four chiefs, I might not remember, I don't want to miss it up. Um, there is a book here. There's a book here. Let me see whether I can lift it up so that I can read it to all of you. Okay, if I can't get it today or some or later, maybe I'll post it. Alright? Edeken 
Edagbado, Edekioba, then Eken Agbado, Ekioba, which one is the fourth one? Ekenaka, I think Ekenaka is Eken, Eken, Ekioba, Agbado. There's the fourth one, please. I can't remember the fourth one. Each of these four cardinal chiefs, take, listen, each of these four cardinal chiefs, Iyame Edogenya. So, four days makes one week in Bini calendar. For some of you who are not aware, four days in the Gregorian calendar, it is seven days that makes one week. But in Bini calendar, it's four days that makes one week. Four days. Each of these days, may not be me Monday, Tuesday, each of these days, each of these four chiefs, Iyame Edogenya, Iyanya, Iyamana, Iyamana Awune, the entire Bini kingdom will stand still. Like for the one I can easily remember, Iyase, Iyase Onya Edeken. So that means every Edeken, it is mandatory that when Iyawe Iyagene, the Iyase must go to the palace. Or Iyawo Suma, or Ede Ekioba, that means every Ekioba, he must go to the palace. But before then, Ediyase, Ome Emye Sonohu, Ogai woe 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 ne wefio oyi mo imi nani omo ari egwa oyi se once he gets to the entrance of the palace he breaks that that means he has ushered that day he has he has he has kick started it's just like morning devotion na be Christian you niyama some families without prayer niyama na nero ne there's nothing it's just like in if you grow up in the village omana I wear, where's it called now? I'm an adult. I wear, can I not live? I if you don't, if you don't, if you don't sweep and redo all those mud, it can I not live? I need, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm an hour, I remember live. I want to, it's still done till date. It will be ye, he has a man away in the entire beginning. Kingdom cannot, cannot have any daily activity. So that means these four chiefs can stop the entire activity of Benin Kingdom in the old. They can decide, they can grant. Now how can you not compare people who has that power of ushering every day of the week to one Enogi? To one in Oge, one village in in one aspect of the How can you not compare in power? It was Iyase Ode that told Akenzwa the first that Erioba Vedo that Nyota and instead his younger brother Ozwe became the Oba of Benin. Iyase Ode, go and read the history all time. Have you ever seen any Enogi? Decide the fate of who becomes your Oba in Benin. None of them dares it because they don't have the power. But we have seen cases where he has said decides. Although it later backfires, but in a way, we have seen cases where he has said decided on that and it happened. We have seen cases where Olia decided on that and it happened. We have seen cases where Umangwe decided on that and it happened. I've told them the chiefs that are powerful in Bini Kingdom. He has said, Esogma, Esong, Osuba. Only the guy will know it. He has said, Osodi, Osoidi, 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 and probably any of the Ihama, whether he, 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 no, Osoidi, the Ine, then probably the Ihama by. This is bad. This is about 10 to 11. Don't also forget, Iyoba is a chief tense title. And it's number five. After Osuma, Iyoba is a, after, Iyo, after 
after iyoba um i say no wa oyo ologbo se after ologbo se isama think isama is 8 that's 7 or 8 in the hierarchy hierarchical classifications of a guy will know you understand let us get this whole thing clearly now how was the title ologbo se created I, I i explained it in one of my videos where fought um he asked oh, they went to meet Akenzoa the first Bogiri Obane after he had denied him in the first instance but he eventually Uzoe was killed and he now became the Oba he now created a title all right to to reduce the influence of Iyase the Iyase went to meet with him to meet with the Oba and told the Oba that in all who are making all do say Iyase it was recorded that even the Oba denied. And he instead and I said, Oh, Imam Imam me again or say yase, O look boggy yase ma Agiti O look buse, O look boggy yase, O look buse. I'm not trying to exaggerate, I'm trying to tell you history of the power that these people wear. And I had told someone that I had told someone the other time that are you aware that when the years of Benin is to visit any enogi in his house in his in his kingdom in sorry in his dukedom the enogi must kill a very big uh, uh, uh must kill a very big uh goat male goat and sprinkle the blood around where he has a cross to enter the house as a mark of respect for the Yase. how many people know that you don't read this kind of history in books so every enoge respects the Yase for the power that he commands then i want person go to say enoges are powerful i'm not saying enoges enoges are powerful to some small some small chiefs but not Abi Yase, Abi Sokba, Wosuma, Abi Son, Abi Mwagu, Abi Se, Abi Suidi, Abi Hama, Abi Ne. <laughs> I'm not talking about Zamaini Ekame, all those are chairmen. See, <laughs> forget, if you understand the politics of the palace, you will know that even a chief can say that, no bagay mi Ekame, enegay mi enigesu for years, no bagay mi You know how some chiefs are powerful. The Nikis are just dukes. And I've told you how they were created. So we should. I'm not trying to say, like I've said before, they all have their respective functions. And they should be respected for their respective functions. They all should be respected for their respective functions. For the functions that they have. Alright? They all should be respected for that. All right, uh -huh. but the way I said it, all right, some enogis are powerful than some chiefs. Why some chiefs are powerful than some enogi? The chiefs that are more powerful than some enogi have already called the names. All right, so uh, yeah, let's not be let's let when people see Benin history is straightforward. When people say enogis are powerful than chief, we ain't go have it all because uh, enogi has palaces. The other man also has palaces. All right. If you now have a palace, what does that mean? Does that mean you wear, you have an influence in the kingdom? All right. You, you may palace or where? Does that mean you have an influence on the kingdom? All right. That's one. Then they will not say um, um, and that the Enoge can create a chieftaincy title. Yes, if he can create a chieftaincy, does that mean the chieftaincy title that he creates is bigger than any of the? The chief tense title created by the Obara Bini. No. Alright. But I've just given proofs that the some chiefs in having a dead bay, 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 a dead bay. That's how powerful they are. And they know themselves. Even some of the niggas cannot say some of the things that have online people now have. Because they know how some chiefs are very goddamn fucking powerful. 
o o o ave kai mo orie de ne o ba age no orie de ne ave ni ge na na ya kinya 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 ni san yuhe mai ni ata ya ya zo ebe do enya no in a way the chiefs makes the nigger in a way and not the other way around mm. so anyway okay kaka about them and i'm not saying commentaries all right i can't say comment but uh, immediately i'm done with this video i'll go back to the comment sections and i'll be able to see the comment so um if some of the intricacies of the comments if i see it then i'll be able to relate with um, um in our next class i'll be able to bring it forth so that we can talk about it but the point is i wasn't saying things rhetorically i was saying things by facts and evidence that has been provided there are there, there, are, there are a lot of facts another one just came another one just came during the coronation of the obara Bini, do any of this any game plays any role Do any of this enigi plays any role in the choice of in making choice of who becomes the next topper? Do any of them plays any role? Have you ma no see ever me or baredo? Eh, where do we any of them in enigi? You really ask it again. In the affairs of Benin Kingdom, the chiefs or Zeli Loba, not enigi. Not in I've told you why they were created. Now, yeah, to settle them, I'm when to me they carry their wallet, they go, me they don't come square in the kingdom. I have here a Korean yodo. I'm not saying it is it is modern day reality now, but that was the reason why they were created in the first place because they were rivalries, princes were fighting. And they had to devise a means that when one of the princes emerges, then in order for other princes not to be constituting, sorry, I want to use news, not to be constituting problem in the kingdom, they were now, ana ifia, ana ifia konia ni agba oge, on behalf of the other. But they are the periphery of the kingdom. They are not from the central administrative system. The people who are from the central administrative system is the other and its chiefs. They're the one who determines what happens in the kingdom. And the Enigis are part of the kingdom. The dukedom is part of the kingdom. It is the chiefs and the Oba that decides of what the daily activities of the kingdom. It's a common sense. All of them, when they all sit, they all know the many aya. When they all sit, they all know who is, who is older. I'm sure that when the Oba sits, I'm sure that the Enig, the Ehamogot Totake, then the Enig will probably want to sit very far from him. In other words, the chiefs are closer to the Oba than the Enig. So, ladies and gentlemen, you will need type way if there were. If I could see commentaries, I know a lot of questions would have been popping up and saying that is other one. Why they are it is other one does not talk rhetorically. It other one brings 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 proofs. It other one bring proofs to the table. Brings facts to the table. It other one brings what is verifiable not something assumable all right uh, in all of this discussion i've been able to, to prove that chiefs plays a remarkable role in the, in the installation of the oba the niggas do not play so the chiefs also determines in the old who becomes the oba and i gave an example of iasa and i gave um, I'm trying to give another example. I said the Yasa there was that chief. Uh, uh, 
Uh -huh. Also, the time of Obaisigi, we all know the story of the Benini Dao. Okay, this is Aulia. Well, Aulia said that he want to remove Obaisigi and replace him with the Atta of Iga, Igala. He almost succeeded. We should know if you get that mind, the reason that came in, that matter. He only a reason. He has said some of the years of reason. Most especially, he has said all day. And he has said many days. These were the two toughest years. They were very tough. That is why he has was given an exclusive right, traditional right, to represent if, if there is a conflict of interest between Oba and his people. The tradition stated clearly that the Yase must take the side of the people. Yase Edo Nyai. The Yase is like the mouthpiece of every Edo people in the chamber of the. So, in other words, the Yase represents the people in the face of the Oba. They tell Edo, you understand? They tell Edo Gui. They wanted a meet Dia Orion near Atamoba in the old. And he has any tradition with power. Let me not say that. Let me not say that so that we don't, we don't start on that controversy. I know some people are very sentimental, very emotional. We just start calling. We are talking to you, blah, 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 blah. But I know that he has, has a lot of powers that he has only teso. Mm-hmm. He has only teso. He has only teso. Mm-hmm. So having said that, uh, I thank all of you. I'm, I'm, I'm unable to read commentaries, but I, I know that uh, we had an amazing program. Uh, short but powerful. I like it short and powerful. And uh, uh, by God's grace, on next week Sunday. I'm going to read um, after this. After I round up this video, I'll just go back to the the commentaries. I'm going to read the comments. Um, then, if there are questions that uh, I can't be able to answer, I will just um, I'll answer in our subsequent programs. And uh, um, for for some of you, you might have noticed that I hardly send messages. I hardly reply tests. It's difficult. I'm not. You know, lower no. I had the reply test and all that, but it's, it's it's all good. It's all good. Thank God and our ancestors for all that. Um, so, having said that, uh, I thank all of you. I appreciate all of you for sticking with me again for the Sunday. And um, always endeavor that when you come for my program, you share, bring your loved ones, bring your family members to participate in my program. I'm sure that whenever you come to Zodowa's program, you will learn something. You will learn something. I'm sure you all be able to learn one or two things that are off books. You all, you all have been able to learn one or two arguments, and um, I've been able to convince you and not confuse you. And I'm not saying you just say, uh, they all have respective functions. But if you now want to not bring supremacy issues, I've given you reasons why I think, I think, these reasons, I think, some of the steps, not all, not all, some. Of these chiefs are powerful than all of these enigmas, and I went further to give what are the functions of the chiefs, what are the functions of the enigma, what is the origin, how, what, what, what is the origin of how, how was, the, how did the 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 Inugi ship system, how how was it created, what led to the creation? There was nothing special about their creation. There's nothing special. It's just to allow them to go and have their own small cycle of leadership so as to leave the central for that which who the caste, who the ancestors are choosing. All right, uh, so these are about it, these are about it. So I thank all of you. I thank all of you who have been supporting. So why are we saying? So I talk about you say. So I'll see you next uh, week uh, on Sunday by 7.30. So um, wherever you are, you guys, are, uh, you take care of yourself and continue to fly the Benin, the great Benin flag. We are great people. God has created us as unique race. 
It is our duties as Benin people to ensure that what God has created for all of us, we're able to we're able to attain it. And so Usanu Dazi Vinika no you my boy. Sell. Thank all of you.